Um, do I think we'll see? Um, do I think we'll see other elements from uh, from other end brought into the comic? Well, you know that's a good question. Do I think we'll see more elements being brought in, or other elements? Um, well, after what we read in the Silver Story arc, obviously a lot of people were surprised that Ian had basically turned that Silver Story arc in Sonic Universe into sort of an adaption of Other M, you know, with the characters and all. And even though this, some fans enjoyed it and were kind of intrigued by it and really caught off by surprise with the ending, the you know. The, those same fans that, like I said, were intrigued and intrigued by it and surprised that it was being done and, like I said, caught off by the ending, some of those same fans, along with other fans, were a little, um, it's just, just my opinion, I, I, I think were just a little disappointed because Ian had specifically said when he came on board with the book that he was not going to put anything of Other M, of his webcomic Other M, into the book. He wasn't going to, you know, imply or input any of his uh, ideas or character designs and stuff like that. <coughs> so, that's what really, I think, got some fans pissed off at Ian, um, even now, even up to this point, because he says one thing and then he does another. You know, this is why some fans kind of ha have it hard, you know, kind of find it hard to believe him or even the editor, Paul Kaminsky, Kal Paul Kaminsky, when they say, you know, not, you know, everything's going to be fine, uh, Sally's story is going to continue, blah, 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 and all that. You know, they find it hard to believe because all they're doing to them is lying. You know, because if Ian went back on his word and said, oh, I'm doing this. I'm not going to do this, but yet I'm doing it. You know, it really, it, it really ticks a lot of fans off. And you, you know, when I when I look at it, when I when I look at what Ian Flynn did with with Other M, by bringing in its elements into the Silver Story arc, it's made me think. And I even posted this uh, in a message board, and in a few message boards that I wrote it in one message board, then reposted it in several others. <laughs> Um, you know, it's made me think that perhaps Ian's going to be bringing in other elements of Other M in the near future into not just the Sonic Universe book again, but into the main comic. Um, I've always been thinking, and as crazy as this sounds, I've always been thinking that perhaps what's going on, you know, right now with Nagas and Eggman and this whole situation, that perhaps it's maybe, and this is just my opinion, I, I could be totally wrong about it, but that, it's, that it might be just maybe a, an adaption sort of of the dream sequence or nightmare sequence that Sonic had that was revealed at the end, I think, of part one or something like that, of part one or part two of other end. That that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. You know that it might be some kind of an adaptation of that. Because think about it. Wouldn't it be crazy if Sonic just suddenly woke? Suddenly something bad was about to happen to Sonic. And suddenly he just boom wakes up. And it's like where am I? What happened? And he's waking up in a hospital bed. You see, it's just my theory. <laughs> It's just a theory, honestly, but, and it's just my opinion, but I feel that that may be the direction, possibly, that we see Other M get brought into the comic even more so. That that might be a, a direction that Ian goes with this whole story arc in the main comic. Now, will he do it? I'm not really sure. Will he go through with it? I'm not really sure. I can't say he will, and I can't say he won't. But um, I wouldn't be surprised by it. And after talking to some people, um, they wouldn't be surprised by it either. So, do I think we'll see more elements of Other M in the comic? 
Oh yeah, most definitely. I, I, I truly believe it. I just don't know if it's going to be in this con in this uh, current story arc in the main comic. If it's going to be in another four-part story arc in the Sonic Universe. But all I know is we will be getting more uh, more elements and more adaptions of Other M into this universe than we can count on. So, yeah, I think we will see more elements from Other M. I truly do. Um, do I think this will make or break Ian's career, this, uh, this story arc, uh, this little thing, that he, this journey he's taken us on? Um, I have to say it's all going to depend on the outcome, you know, whatever the outcome is going to be, because, you know, we can't honestly judge the outcome right off the fact that we get in these question marks. I mean... Uh, on the covers along with the descriptions because you know I've mentioned I mean I have mentioned that the the question marks just don't really um, really add up when it comes to the descriptions they just don't really match up so to me I think it's all going to depend on the outcome and whatever the outcome is going to be after this is all said and done um, that I, I feel that's what's going to make or break his career and I feel that 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 may lead to either him staying on the book or leaving the book, and, and I've got a feeling um, that he may leave the book after 250. I just, um, I just have this feeling, but uh, it's all going to depend on the outcome. Do I think this will be the longest, the comic's longest story arc to date? Well, to answer this last question, um, they have said in various interviews before Genesis even was officially released that this might, that this is going to double the length of the Iron Dominion arc. Um, when the Iron Dominion story arc began, and right at the right on the last page of 200. It lasted mainly all the way up to about 211, 212. So, um, so yeah, for nearly a year we had the Iron Dominion arc, and a lot of people, and honestly, a lot of people, see, there were some people that liked it because it was a change, it was a different change of pace, you had a different villain, even though it was building up to, towards the end, it was building up to the return of, of Eggman, Robotnik, and it did kind of do some things fans didn't like, like temporarily put Sally and Khan together as a, as a couple, and that's Monkey Kong, put him and Sally together as a couple, as well as probably tease Amy and Sonic at the end of 207, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty long story arc, but like I said, it was a change of pace, but uh, from what they said before Genesis, like I was saying, before what they said before Genesis came out was that it could be double the length of what Iron Dominion was, and so far on the archiesonicweek.com, uh, basically the Archie Sonic Wikipedia, the Mobius Encyclopedia site, the farthest that the future issues are listed at, at the bottom of the page, page when you look at an issue, look up the information, and you scroll down, the farthest that the issues are listed at right now is 250. So if this is double that standard, then it's living up to it because it started with 225, and it looks like it might go all the way up to 250, so that would be double the length. Uh, so do I think it'll be the longest one to date? Probably. It's probably going to live up to being that, and we'll just have to see what the outcome will be, and if 250 is going to be the final issue for this whole story arc before they move on, maybe the whole final issue for the whole comic, let's just see if maybe they can help it go out with a bang or end it with a bang. So, um, yeah, I definitely think either the comic continues after 250 or not, which I think it will, the story arc in 250 is going to, if it goes that long, is going to go with a bang. I mean, they say it's going to last the, the whole year of 2012, or at least up until October 2012, but uh, 
I have a feeling it might last a little longer. And if it lasts to 250, then yeah, it'll most definitely be even up to October next year. One of the, probably the longest story arc in the comics history to date. So, yeah, uh, I truly, I truly believe that.